Hey everybody, it's Emily the Crazy Worm Lady. I'm here today with the sand versus eggshell. I have not forgotten about them. I was working in the worm bins today trying to catch up on all my videos. And this is eggshell bin. And this paper is just disintegrating on top. And we've got so, so, so many worms in here. They look absolutely beautiful. These castings are beautiful. It's a great consistency. It's flaky, but definitely moist. It just feels really, really great. I'm, I'm quite impressed with how well both of these bins have done despite having different grit sources. And that was kind of what we wanted to find out is if it really made a difference in the reproduction and I, I want to continue this for a while longer. I've been taking it really slow in here. And there is still a lot of room in this bin that we can keep feeding. So I figure why not keep going with it for a while and see how these worms do. But you can see there's worms like baby worms, adult worms. So they're definitely reproducing. If you're new to this series, the whole goal was to see if the calcium from eggshells uh, increases reproduction. So we finished each, we um, started each bin rather with 50 mature worms. These are red wigglers. And in an attempt to see if one will outperform the other as far as worm count at the end, which I'll probably do based on weight as opposed to um, counting the worms because there's a lot, a lot of worms in here now, but I'm not Im immediately seeing cocoons, but I know they must be in here because of all the different size worms. So I'm getting ready to go on vacation. Probably by the time you see this, I will be on vacation. So I'm going to give them a really nice feeding at a whole bunch of bedding today and we'll leave them for a week or so to see how they do because I haven't fed these guys in a little while because I was you know falling behind on all my updates trying to put the priority where most people were enjoying the content the most but I have not forgotten about them I've poked in periodically but they have been fine so I wasn't overly concerned about taking it slow but I mean that baby's freshly hatched so we definitely have a great variety in here. So we're going to get this one fed up real quick and then we'll take a look at the sand bin, see how they're looking and uh, do the same. Since I've been so ultra conservative with this experiment as the worm population was going up, I think I'm going to up my game today. I am not trying to migrate them. I know I've been doing a lot of horizontal migrations lately, but I'm just going to feed it all the way over here and then we'll, we'll move back and forth. But I just thought, um, Instead of feeding a corner, I'm going to feed a whole side. Really try to get these guys working again um, to continue to reproduce since I do have a lot of space in here to continue this experiment for another few months if I want to. So um, I'm going to put some dry bedding in here. I can't say enough about my new shredder. I finally broke down and bought one. My other one I was abusing a little bit too much. So this one has been great so far. So that's two large handfuls of bedding and we'll get them fed. Okay, so large feeding for them today. I'm gonna sprinkle in some eggshell. I measured this out ahead of time. I have this coffee filter. I'm just gonna throw a coffee filter in each of these as well. And I have a really large wet blended feeding. We're gonna do full what I guess is about two and a half cups when this is completely full of blended food. So that is a ton of food for this system. Um, although it is mainly moisture, you know, when the food breaks down, but I'm going to also add a little bit of coffee to each bin as well. So here's another coffee filter with coffee in it. And I'm going to top this with some more dry bedding because that's very wet so it can absorb. And I do leave lids on these bins. That way it won't get overly moist. Just like this. 
that's two good handfuls here. And then I'm just gonna loosely sprinkle some castings across the top and pop the lid back on. And we'll take a look at the sand bin. Okay, so here is our sand bin. And this cover is held up better than the other one for some reason. That's an interesting thing to note, but um, same deal. The castings are beautiful. Worms of all sizes. This bin feels a little bit more wet than the other one, although neither bin had any moisture on the lid. But whenever there's castings along the walls, that's usually because the worms have been climbing about because condensation builds up and so they naturally kind of follow that condensation to see what else is out there. So it's not a problem if you see some castings on your walls, it's really not a sign of anything wrong as long as your worms aren't all over the walls. But although that cover held up, I will say the castings in both bins look really fantastic. So we'll do the same thing over here, give them a really huge feeding and um, leave them for another week to finish this up and um, kind of start getting more aggressive with the feedings and maybe we'll be able to harvest this by the end of the summer depending how long we decide to run this experiment but so far I think both bins look pretty darn good and there's babies in both bins so I think that's a good sign that there might not be a huge impact although we won't know until we do the final weight. I do two handfuls again on the bottom Gonna do the two and a half cups or so of wet food. Very, very wet food. Stinky as well. Got my sand in my coffee filter. And then I'm gonna put a filter with the coffee grounds in here as well. Gotta do everything equal. And it's not a 100% science, but I try to make it as close as as possible. So I'll do another two handfuls on top. I'm going to cover it back up with castings and we'll follow up and see how they're getting along now that they've got a lot more bedding and a really large wet feeding. See how this system can tolerate it. I did the same thing in the eggshell bin. I kind of covered everything back up with castings just to hold in the moisture, encourage the worms to move over here. I did not put a cover back on the eggshell bin, but I, I will just keep this one across this bin since it was in here, it needs to stay in here. So let me know what you think guys, drop those comments below, like this video, subscribe if you'd like some more content from me and I'll be back with you guys real soon for an update. Hope you have a great day.